Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapher. Grapher is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video, I will explain how data should be arranged and formatted in order to create graphs in Grapher. I will be using Grapher's worksheet window to view and edit the data so that it is formatted and arranged in a way that Grapher can use. To open the data file in the worksheet, click File, Open. Select the data file, and click Open. Many data editing and cell formatting commands are available from the Data Tools tab in the ribbon bar, including but not limited to those which will be used to format this data file for plotting in Grapher. The original data is in rows, with the titles in column A. By default, Grapher reads data by columns. This data would most easily be plotted if it were first transposed from rows to columns. To transpose the data, First, highlight all of the data by clicking the button between column header A and row header 1. Then, click the Data Tools, Data, Transpose command. The data columns will become rows and the rows will become columns. Now that the data is in columns, we can see category 2 in column C contains numbers, but the numbers are left justified in the cells. Normally, this indicates the numbers are formatted as text instead of a number. This can be verified by clicking in one of the cells. In the box at the top of the window, you can see a single quotation mark before the number. This confirms that these numbers are formatted as text. To convert these text values to numbers so they can be plotted, highlight the data that needs to be reformatted by clicking on the column C header. Click the Data Tools, Data, text to number command. The entries in the column are now formatted as numbered so that they are right justified in the cell and they no longer have the leading quotation mark. In Grapher, the default label format for the plot is determined by the label format in the worksheet. Setting the label format in the worksheet allows the labels in the plot to be displayed with the desired formatting. The cell formatting is also used for text that is linked to a specific worksheet cell. To reformat the date time labels in column A, highlight the data in cells A2 through A13. Click the Data Tools, Format, Format Cells command. The Format Cells dialog will open. Type a new format into the Date Time Format box, or click the Ellipsis button to open the Date Time Format Builder dialog. If the language country is not appropriate, Select a new one from the list and click Insert. Choose from the list of predefined date-time formats for that country and click Insert. D slash MM slash YYYY appears in the date-time format box at the top of the dialog. Once the date-time format box shows the desired date-time formatting, click OK and this format appears in the date time format box in the format cells dialog. Click OK to apply this change to see the dates in column A formatted in D slash MM slash YYYY format. Another good practice is to have the data stored in ascending order. Order is important in Grapher because data is plotted in the exact order it appears in the worksheet. The dates in column A are out of order, so we will use the sort command to reorder these dates and related data. Highlight all data in the worksheet. Highlighting all of the data guarantees that all of the columns for a given row will be in the same row after sorting. If we were to highlight only column A, then only column A would be sorted, while the rest of the data would remain ordered as it is now. Click on the Data Tools, Data, Sort command. The Sort dialog will open. The Sort dialog allows data to be sorted in ascending or descending order using up to three columns. Since we want to sort only by the dates in column A, we will leave the Sort First By drop-down list set to column A, and we will leave Sort Next By and Sort Last By empty. We want the oldest dates at the top, so we will leave the Sort First By order set to ascending. Finally, since our data has a header row that we want to leave at the top of the data, we will check the box next to Labels in first row. Click OK to sort the data. 
Now that the data is set up correctly, we can create a graph directly from this worksheet by highlighting the first four columns and clicking the Home, New Graph, Basic, Line Plot command. This concludes the video training for how to format data in Grapher. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.